this is the Dubois variety. I call it Dubois, or you can say Dubois. Uh, hi, I'm Caleb Karoga, and I believe we could have Shamba. So, um, forgive have a bit of a cold, but I'll be fine. I planted this, uh, rather transplanted this about a month and a half ago, if I am not wrong. And uh, we decided to do this spacing of uh, 20 centimeters from plant to plant. This is planted under drip irrigation. Uh, that was before the rains started pounding. So, so far we've done one harvest. This is the second harvest. And like I said, this is the Dubois variety. People call it Dubois. You can say Dubois, D-U-B-O-I-S, Dubois variety. That's what most people refer it to. But if you want to sound a little bit educated, you can say Dubois. I mean, Dubois. Anyway, um, I've, trans I've, I've done a bit of spring onions on the edges. Uh, before we, the first hole I do uh, some spring onion. It's another batch of spring onions. And they're doing very well in this region. I do spring onions as a biological pest control. Um, the more you have along the edges, have quite a few uh, along the edges, they will prevent some creepy crawlies that are harmful to the um, amaranth to crawl into the farm. But the main purpose is just to have um, um, onions that I can, you know, eat together with uh, amaranth. Amaranth is very rich in iron and I think vitamin K, but mostly iron. And people love it, love it, love it, love it. So all of this, I'm taking it to my restaurant, Coffee 254. Uh, you can establish this either sow it directly to your farm. You can sow it directly to your farm. Uh, or you could do what I prefer doing. This is just a personal preference. You can transplant the seedling. So <clears throat> I sowed seeds uh, on a nursery. Then uh, after they germinated and they were like about 30, 40 days old, that's when I transplanted them, a seedling per hole, per emitter that is. And I think once you do that, uh, the stems tend to be very thick, very nice, very big. The leaves tend to be very big because they're not competing for nutrients. Um, but that's again just my observation. If you look at the leaves, they're quite huge. The stem, the stalk is very strong. Um, it's a personal preference, it's just a personal preference, but you can sow them directly and you can uproot them or you can just be cutting them from there and then you take it to the market. But like I said, personal preference, I prefer transplanting them uh, and doing a 20 centimeter spacing from plant to plant and 30 centimeters from row to row. Um, this is a traditional African, one of the traditional African vegetables. We have quite a lot here. I'm seeing some, let me actually show you um, what you call saget, saget or spider plant. Spider plant, I had planted it the last season, so of course the seeds <coughs> uh, still remain. If you look at this, it's loved by bees, especially in the evening. Uh, if you look at this, this is a saget or spider plant. Look at that. So I have quite um, <clears throat> a few of them and they are loved by uh, bees, like I said, because in the evening, the anthers open up, which you call dehissing, they open up, releasing a lot of pollen and uh, bees come and get uh, their pollen from there. So today it was just a small video to show you how we harvest um, uh, amaranth or terere, which will be consumed at my restaurant, Coffee 254. If you have not followed me, please consider following me. Remember Okulima? Seu Shambar.